Hey, welcome back. So we have a few errors here and the biggest one is the table is not found. So let's go ahead and create a new table. So down into PHP my admin school DB new. And this new table is uh, tests. Okay. So obviously we'll need an ID. And let's look at the columns that we need. So there's test ID, of course. We'll need the class ID. And we'll need the school ID. So we're missing a couple. Let me add three columns. Uh, which else are we missing? The user ID. We need to know which teacher created this test and then what else do we have we have the test name itself and then finally a date so in terms of type the date is date time the test is a variable character this will be the title of the test maybe we'll put 100 characters user id var variable character 60 because that's what we've been using all along. Let's put 60 in all of these IDs, shall we? And we may have quite a number of uh, no, IDs, quite fine, I think. Let's change this to variable character, varkar, varkar. And then make sure you have auto increment on the ID and it's a primary key. And the rest of these, uh, none of these can be allowed to be no, so we leave that be. And then let's click save. Very nice. Now, all the IDs obviously will be using those to read. So let's add an index to each one of these babies. Just so we can read things faster. Maybe the test name as well and the date. Looks like everybody gets an index. Okay, cool. Now that we do have a table, let me refresh. Okay. So no tests were found at this time. Looks like things are working, but uh, where is our template though? So let's see what's going on. Tests.view dot php oh i see what's going on here i got the wrong thing so let me change this to tests dot ink so rename the view from view to ink because this is an include file what we needed was the tests page itself so since we are copying from classes we should have gotten the classes view not the classes ink so sorry there my bad right click on views new and uh, instead of classes here let's say tests and let's save it as tests dot view dot php okay that should give us a different result very nice so at least now when we click on tests we're not getting controller not found we are moving forward so this is tests add new let's change what these babies are saying so this is inside the tests ink let's change our table test name created by so what's going on if we go back to the tests view, I think it's loading a different file. So let me call, change this to test. Yeah, so that was the problem. Refresh. Okay, test name. But wait a minute. When I go to classes, oh, that's classes, tests. Okay, so it seems that things are looking up. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, very, very cool.
Great, that's good. Okay, so let's create our second table, which is test questions. So back to the table creator. Let's click on new again. And this one is test underscore questions. So of course, similar thing, ID. Let's get another ID here, which is user ID. That's fine. Oh, wait a minute. Do we need a user ID here? No, we do not. Not at all. We need the test ID to know which one is the parent of this. And then we don't need the class ID either. We just need to know the question. And then if there is an image, because sometimes the question can be in image format. Let's add more columns. And then we have type and answer and choices. So type here, type of test. Maybe we can say test underscore type and then choices answer. Or if you want, you can say correct underscore answer and then choices down here. And we don't need a date whatsoever because this will get the date of the, of this other one. But who knows? Why not? Maybe we need to know when the question was added. Who knows? Okay, so I'll add that there as well. And let's go back to the top ID. Let's add auto increment and primary key. Test ID variable character of 60 the question now the question could be long so let's put text there image we just need to save the image path so let's put 500 characters type variable character maybe this subjective and objective they're just two of them so let's see objective subjective is longer Ob subjective. Okay, so how many characters are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten characters. Or if you want, you can just um, put a tiny int and put one or zero. One means subjective, zero means uh, objective. But eh, we can put the text, no problem. So correct answer. This one is a variable character. The correct answer is usually a single letter, either A, B, C, D, because the sub subjective test will not have the correct answer. Uh, no, wait a minute, because there are questions that are not multiple choice, but then they have a word as an answer. So maybe in those, hmm, yeah, maybe we need a third type. Anyway, so the correct answer, what we can do is... I don't know here. Let's put 500 characters, just in case. Maybe somebody needs to type a sentence or something. The choices uh, will be in JSON format. So I'm um, not really sure. Let's put text. We can put text here as well. Let me remove that 500. We are just as we go. Um, date will be date time as usual. Where is date time? There we go. Okay, so good. Text, 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 great. Save. All right, now let's give the index to the ID. Uh, the question does not need an index whatsoever. None of the rest actually, oh, maybe the type. Okay, and the date, all righty then. Okay, cool. So we have two tables now, only need the answered questions, but We'll deal with this later.
let's make these others functional then we can skip to the other one all right so great let me refresh now to see that we haven't broken anything that's okay all right i'll see you in the next video